Russian volunteers will continue demilitarization of Russia's border regions in the near future. The Freedom of Russia Legion has said the raid in Belgrade and Kursk regions has lasted for two weeks now. Volunteers destroy and disable Russian army equipment and eliminate personnel of the aggressor country. The irrecoverable losses amount to at least 613 servicemen. At the same time, the Federation's defense ministry claims that all attacks have allegedly been repelled and no breakthroughs have been allowed. Tiger, I am Prince. My group is half wounded and half dead. The tank didn't make it. Prince, Prince, urgent evacuation. All of my people are wounded. Hurry up, please. Russians in the Belgrade and Kursk regions hear the air alerts every day, but the authorities, both federal and regional, prevent evacuation. Civilian casualties are solely the responsibility of the administration which prevents people from being evacuated. From an appeal by the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion to the governor of the Belgorod region on Telegram. For the first time, the local authorities of Belgrad region started talking about evacuation on March 19th. They decided to evacuate about 9,000 children to Penza, Tambov, Kaluga and Stavropol Krai. Apparently, there are no plans to organize a general evacuation. The fact that many locals are traveling on their own is being silenced. Using the population as human shells, the Russian army is shelling volunteers' positions from residential areas and destroying civilian facilities itself. What's there in the village? Well, it's our guys dropping big bombs. Now they are dropping bombs. The airplane is flying high and planning to drop bombs there. From a publication in the YouTube channel of the Freedom of Russia Legion. Russia's border remains uncovered as everyone from mobilized to prisoners fights against Ukraine. To displace volunteers, the command of Russia's western military district may transfer more military personnel to Belgrade and Kursk regions. Putin's regime was not ready for such operations. It is especially noteworthy that it was not ready during the elections and preparation for it. In such a situation, all Russian special services could be brought, and it all failed systematically. Both the intelligence service, which did not receive the data, and accordingly all security agencies, from the border guard to the Ministry of Defense, failed to do anything. The hostilities of the volunteer formations of the Russian Volunteer Corps, the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Siberian Battalion against the Russian army are an internal matter. Ukrainian intelligence is assisting the volunteers. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense is helping volunteer formations. If we are talking about the actions of the Russian Volunteer Corps, the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Siberian Battalion is, among other things, Ukraine's responsibility. So, of course, Ukraine should also help Russians fighting the Kremlin's regime to free Russia from Putin. Andriy Yusov, representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry on the air of Ukrainian national telephone. The raid of the Russian volunteers will continue according to the Freedom of Russia legions. In addition to tactical, the result of the raid will be a significant informational and political influence, which in the future will help to destabilize the system as a whole. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Valeria Nekopelova, UATV News.